guys, it's Cece, and today I am here to do a live watch and trailer talk about a series of unfortunate events. So the series of unfortunate events Netflix official trailer dropped today and I have been resisting watching it. Literally someone tweeted me very soon after it dropped and they were already like, have you watched it? What do you think? And I was like, I know, I know, but I have to wait to watch it because I don't know if there's anything else that I'm quite as passionate about at this point in my life that I could react to and I've always been curious to do a trailer reaction. What am I talking about? Okay, it's time to watch the trailer. A series of unfortunate events is going to be a Netflix series in 2017 in January and let me just watch this trailer. I have to put in headphones for, you know, copyright reasons, but I'll just speed through this and then we're gonna talk. Okay, here we go. Trailer time. First time watching it. Let's go. Okay. Okay, so here oh my god, I don't even know how to I don't even know how to do this. So first I guess I should talk with my problems. First I guess I should talk about my problems. I've lost the ability to speak. This looks like a Wes Anderson movie, and that's not what a series of unfortunate events is. This is far too colorful. Like Okay, I have to put this down. I just- I can't think about this right now. So, A Series of Unfortunate Events to me has always been- it's a very, very dark series. I think that Count Olaf is a scary guy, and the reason that I don't like the movie is because they just told Jim Carrey, be funny, and he went with it, and I don't think he achieved funniness or Count Olafness. I'm so concerned that that's exactly where they're going with this, because Neil Patrick Harris seems to be embracing a lot of the silliness, that Jim Carrey had, and I don't really love that, but the color is what's getting to me, because the whole series is very dark, not like, you know, in terms of tone, it is, but the descriptions of everything are very dim. Everything's sort of dimly lit, monochromatic, there are small elements of color, but it's not high saturation Wes Anderson, and I really don't like that element of this trailer right now. I do like the little ticks that they're doing with the tone of speech, and the way that they're using the writing, because I think that that's so distinctive of the series. So I really liked uh, Mr. Poe saying that their parents perished, and there's that little break in time, and then Klaus goes, we, we know what perished means. I like that, just like I really liked the Lemony Snicket that they had in the little teaser. I thought he was written really well, but I'm so worried that they're going to try to make this a fun kids show that's like, dire, but doesn't actually feel dire, doesn't actually feel scary or dangerous. That's my deepest fear, and I don't know that this trailer has led me to believe either way that they might be going. This felt a little bit more silly to me than I want it to. However, Count Olaf, dressed up in his outfit for what I think is the Miserable Mill, is hilarious. I liked seeing all of his little outfits. So the Netflix series is only going to cover the first four books, and I'll be doing a reread probably in January of those first four books. So I don't remember anything like perfectly, but I'm pretty sure that's the outfit from there. I love that Asif Manvi is playing their uncle from the reptile room. That's genius. I love it. I also love Joan Cusack being a part of this. Just in general, she could play any part, but I like that she's playing Justice Strauss, I believe. That's really smart casting. Still worried that the kids are too young, but they seemed pretty good in the trailer. I think that they might have good timing to get the feel of the show. I just don't know, guys. I have been considering doing, like, uh, discussion videos when the show actually comes out, like, a video for each two episodes. People interested in that? I'll be a lot more coherent than I am right now. This is me experiencing it for the first time, so I'm just 
spewing words. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. What are your thoughts on the trailer? How do you feel about the Series of Unfortunate Events trailer? Do you think that they're gonna do it right? Do you think that they're gonna do it wrong? Are you as consumed with worry as I am? Let me know. I hope that you enjoyed this. It's the first ever trailer reaction kind of video I've done, so hope you liked it, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!